Because the circle, like a clock, has 12 positions, it can be divided evenly into sets of 1, 2, 3, 4, or 6 notes. In the next videos, we'll look at what each of those divisions shows us. First, dividing by 1 gives us the complete set of 12 notes. This is the chromatic scale. Notice it bounces across to the opposite side of the circle with each new note. Dividing by 2 gives us 6 sets of 2 notes. The 2 note set we've already seen is the set of tritones. But there's another set of 2, a pair, which keeps showing up as we study the shapes of the various chord qualities. It's the 1-5 pair. There are actually 12 sets of 1-5 pairs. If we start on C, one set is the C-G pair, then D and A, E and B, F-sharp and C-sharp, A-flat and E-flat, and B-flat and F. If we start on the G, we get a different set. We get G and D, A and E, B and F-sharp, D-flat and A-flat, E-flat and B-flat, and F and C. We saw in the last video how the minor 7 chord has two sets of 1-5 pairs. If we use B as our root note, B minor 7 is B, D, F sharp, A. The 1 and 5 notes, B and F sharp, make a pair, and the flat 3 and flat 7 notes, D and A, also make a pair. Notice that even though we think of these two notes as the 3 and 7 notes, they're also a 1-5 pair. When the chord moves from minor 7 to dominant 7, the 3 and 7 notes split, creating a tritone, which also splits up the 1-5 pair. Moving from the dominant 7 to the major 7 chord, the flat 7 note moves to natural 7, back to join the natural 3, and in the process, recombining the 1-5 pair. We think of the major 7 chord as 1, 3, 5, 7, because that's how the notes are found on the keyboard, but we could also think of it as 1, 5, and 3, 7. This also highlights another characteristic of these notes in a chord. The 1-5 pair is the anchor of the chord, while the 3-7 pair does the work, splitting and moving to change the quality of the chord. Why does the 1 pair up with the 5 so often? Remember that, in the world of harmonic overtones, after the root note sounds one octave higher, the 5 note is the first harmonic we hear. The 1-5 pair gives us the most consonant sound. There's another two-note pattern we can see. It's the pairs of complementary notes on either side of the circle. It might be easiest to see this pattern using C as our root note. If C is the root note, the notes on either side are the 4-note F and the 5-note G. We've seen that the 1 and 5 notes often pair up, but what about the 1 and 4 notes? Remember that we go down the notes as often as we go up, and going down from C, F is the 5 note. So our root note C is flanked by its most consonant notes, the 5 note going up, G, and the 5 note going down, F. Both are 5 half steps away from C. Next to the G and F we see D and B flat. D is the 2 note for C, 2 half steps up. B flat is the flat 7 note for C, two half steps down. Next we see A and E flat. E flat is the flat 3 note for C, and A is the 6 note. With E and A flat, both are a distance of four half steps away from C. And with B and D flat, both are one half step away. These all pair up until we get to F sharp, six half steps away going either up or down. As we've seen, F-sharp pairs up with the root note C in a tritone. 